Welcome to the channel, my name is Grizzy, and today we have a brand new Apex Legends video. Big shout out to my buddy Saber because he was the mastermind behind this secret setting that actually makes a massive difference in game and it's gonna 100% improve your shot accuracy. Now I know a lot of you all have heard of Fade, maybe Lyric, a lot of these high level players, the best in Apex, utilize this hidden trick or setting in order to up their game. And now in this video, I'm gonna show you the proper way for stretch resolution and I'm also going to cover all the settings that I'm currently using in Apex Legends. If you're on PC, the stretch resolution is going to be huge and an absolute game changer. Your targets are going to be massive. Your aim is going to feel extra sticky on targets. Now, if you're not on PC, don't worry. All portions of this video will be timestamped to allow you to skip to the settings that you want to see. Now, let's hop right into the video. Now, if you try stretch res in game for Apex Legends, you're not going to have a true stretch resolution. You're not going to get as good of effects from this resolution you're gonna have black bars on the bottom or on the top of your screen so the first step for stretch resolution is you need to create a custom resolution which is going to be 1440 by 1080. first you're going to use your desktop search bar to locate and open the nvidia control panel on the left under select a task choose change resolution your native res should be selected we want to customize a new one if customize is grayed out and not selectable go to manage 3d settings ensure dsr factors are off by left or right clicking it and unchecking all the boxes now customize should be available if it wasn't already go back to the change resolution select customize create custom resolution make the horizontal pixels value 1440 refresh rate whatever your monitor is capped at for me it's 144 hertz then you will change or leave your vertical lines to 1080 and then you hit test and then close that menu you should now be able to select your custom 1440 by 1080 resolution. It will make your desktop scrunch a bit, but we'll fix that in the next step. Step two is forcing full screen scaling. In the NVIDIA control panel, select a task, locate, adjust desktop size and position. From there, select full screen, set perform scaling on to GPU, and check the box right underneath that titled override the scaling mode set by games and programs. Also confirm your new custom resolution in this window under preview. Select apply and your desktop should be forced into full screen and look stretched. Now your step three video configure settings. Use your desktop search bar to search for saved games. Open that file, select respawn, select apex, then select local. Once you see video config, right click it and see properties. Ensure that it is not read only. If it is, then uncheck it. Now that it is not read only and it is editable, double click to open video config locate settings dot default res and its value on the right to be 1440 right under that is the setting dot default res height make sure that's set to 1080 the next six options below starting at setting dot full screen and ending at setting dot matte anti-alias mode should have values in the following order zero one zero one zero now in the top left corner select file and save Close this window and again, right click video config, select properties and make sure to check the read only box so that it's no longer editable. In step four, we're gonna go into the Steam launch command. We're gonna open up Steam, locate Apex Legends in the Steam library, right click Apex Legends and select properties. In the launch options, you're gonna paste this execution command that I'm going to have in the description below so guys right now go into the description look for the execution command and copy and paste that into your steam launch options the final step is step five and that's opening up apex and very important every time you open apex and you come to the screen where you click to continue and you can change regions you must hit alt plus enter this stretches your apex up and makes it full screen now go into your video settings in game and confirm your resolution it should be changed to 1440 by 1080 and then it should have been changed from 43 to 54. trust me on this one if you're on pc try out this resolution it's easy to go back if it's not for you but man your shots are going to absolutely beam i promise you on that now let's get into the rest of my apex legend settings now getting into the rest of my settings this is going to be on 1920 by 1080 the original 
um, resolution for the game. For presentation purposes, it just looks better on YouTube this way. So just a little side note there. We're gonna just quickly go through every little tab here so that you guys can have some really good efficient settings that are gonna help you guys out. I'm gonna try to go through them pretty quick. Interact prompt style, we have these as default. So items are gonna pop up versus when they're compact. This is just self personal preference. Our button hints are off. Crosshair damage feedback is off. So there's not an X when you do damage so that you can see your target a little bit better. Damage numbers are on stacking. Ping opacity default, obituary is on mini map rotation is off weapon auto cycle on empty is off so you can just switch weapons yourself auto sprint is on with the auto sprint on you can spin the kunai when you're running that way when you're on controller you can still you look a little flashy um after that we have double tap sprint off jetpack control for valk is on hold incoming damage feedback is on 3d taking damage while you're in a death box you want this on off so that you can grab an armor swap Hop up, pop up is on, streamer mode off. All these don't really matter too much. Performance display on. Reticle, I use a green reticle, just helps you to kind of see in all different terrains. Colorblind mode is on Tritonopia. I know I get asked that question a lot. Moving on, I play on controller. I use a default stick loadout because I play with, because I play with three paddles, I use my paddle on the left to jump paddle on the right to crouch and then I use a paddle with interact so that I can just look around and interact and loot and then open doors do other things that way as well you want to tap to use and reload crouch is on hold which helps with crouch spamming aim button is on hold for me survival slot button is off that way if I do need to use something like a heat shield I can just go into my inventory and activate it and click on the survival slot button. Um, that way I am allowed to spin my kunai now that I have freed that up from my left bumper. I do use ALCs. I have a full guide for ALCs and how to find your ALCs. So I will post that link in the description, but my ALCs are similar to a 5-4 look sensitivity with classic. I'll just quickly go over those for you guys. We have custom look controls obviously on, 10% dead zone, two outer threshold, six response curve. Per optics are all on one. We got yaw 300, pitch 220, turning extra on 30, 30, 0, 0, 140, 95, 80, and then these are on zero and then on and on. Our video settings, this is going to be different now because I'm not using the full stretch res, but um, if you guys are using stretch res, it's obviously going to say that 1440 by 1080, I have brightness at 60, my FOV that I play on is on 100 disabled, normal, and then these things are just based on your computer. I like to have as many frames as possible, so I have a lot of these on low or turned off. V-Sync, you definitely want this disabled. Enabled the NVIDIA Reflex, and then we got none, uh, high, trilinear, disabled, low, low, high, disabled, disabled, high, medium. I actually like to have this on low. Ragdolls on high. So yeah, guys, those are my settings for Apex Legends uh, in Season 12. If you guys have any questions on specific settings or have any questions with you know, what kind of sensitivity to run, how to change your ALCs, make sure you comment down in the comment section below. Also, if you're on PC, check out that stretch resolution. I'm telling you, targets are going to be huge. You're going to hit so many shots, and it's really, really good. Trust me. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I'm Grizzy, and I'm out. Peace.